Welcome, welcome. And uh, believe it or not, we have some people here that are way above my level of intellectual knowledge on therapy. <laughs> they are going to be doctors of physical therapy in one year. They're students from University of La Crosse, Wisconsin. My alum, that's where I was educated yeah. 120 years ago. <laughs> Let's go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Lizbeth Peets. I'm Kyle Terhark. And we're going to talk to you today about four things that you can do to cure your plantar fasciitis. All right, so I want to show you some stuff about the foot here. So if you think about on the bottom where you're having most of that pain right near your heel in here, you actually have a thing called your plantar fascia, which is what the name plantar fasciitis comes from. And it runs all the way from your heel down to your toe. And this is going to come in handy later when we talk about how when you raise that toe up, it puts more tension on that fascia mm. down there. So that pain that you're feeling right here by your heel, mm -hmm. you want to show me where that yeah, pain is? Yeah, so we're very typical. If you I have a patient with this, I push here, they're going to make them <laughs> open their eyes and say bad things. So I, I, I'm nice to them. Yeah. yeah, so sometimes that pain is coming from actually the tissues right here, but sometimes it's coming down from some of those muscles in your leg. So we want to show you some stuff that can work on those muscles as well, not just working only down here. Excellent. Right. And the good news is, you know, it's a very, very robust structure, you know, so oh, it's yeah. not going to get hurt too bad. And there's a lot of things we can do to treat it. I like it. to describe it as a rope. So mm. imagine a really thick rope that runs all the way from your heel to your toe. So you don't have to worry too much about it fraying or anything like that. It's actually really it's strong. strong. Very, it's very strong. All right. So now we want to look at a morning routine because um, oftentimes this is one of those ones that when you wake up, get out of bed, it hurts pretty bad when you start walking around. Yeah. And right. so this is a way to get it started before you start your day. So if you just take three, four minutes before you get out of bed doing some of these things, it's going to help a lot and help you walk around the house without pain. Yeah, so, so show me what those would look like, Yes, Kyle. so there's four things you can do. You can obviously pick and choose whichever works best for you. The more you do, the better it is. But the first one is going to be just make a fist with one hand. Okay. Bring your foot right up to the side. You're sitting on the edge of the bed. And think about just pushing your knuckles from okay. your heel all the way up to your big toe. And so just like where we said that plantar fascia was, you're just working right in line with it. So a deep, soft tissue massage mm -hmm. to that plantar fascia. And how long are you going to do this for? So this one, we're thinking 5, 10 seconds. As you're working through here, just press, give a nice 5, 10 second draw through, and then do this for about a minute um, total. So give yourself just time to relax. If it hurts really bad, ease up. If it's not very much tenderness there, push a little harder. Great. Let's yep. go to number two. Okay, I just want to mention these are four options or four stretches you can do from the first exercise, if you get what I'm talking about. Anyways, go on. This is a really nice demonstration of how to do this stretch. Yeah, so as part of that morning routine, the next one is going to be working on that big toe stretch. So you're just going to grab onto your big toe and think about pulling it up, and that's just going to tension that plantar fascia. And think about it like any stretch you do for the hamstrings or the calves, whatever. And so you're just holding that stretch. Ease it in 5, 10 seconds. Ease it back out. You're thinking about just getting the tissue used to being on some stretch. Nice. All right. So now the third part of your morning routine is going to be just active ankle pumps. So this is just getting extra blood flow to the area. This is creating some extra motion up through the ankle. So you got calf muscles going down into the foot. This one is just getting everything ready to go for the day. 10, 20 ankle pumps? Yeah. 10, 20 is plenty. Yeah. Um, if you want to do more, go for it. Sure. All right, and the last piece of the morning routine, um, this is basically the last one before you get up and put all the weight onto your foot. This is just going to be rolling a ball over that plantar fascia. So this can be, you know, as light as a tennis ball where it's got some squishiness to it, or you can go all the way up to like a golf ball. That's going to hurt a little bit, so ease into that one. <laughs> um, so make sure you work your way up to that one. But we're just going to be rolling that ball from the heel all the way up to that big toe, just working right along there, add a little pressure into it, if it's not too bad, add more pressure. If it's pretty tender, ease that pressure off. Always push and more pressure in with your hands, too. Yes, you can always add more on there. And then this will be the last one before you get up and start walking around your day. <laughs> All right, so now what we're looking at is building the muscles inside your foot. So these are the intrinsic muscles. They're small muscles, but they're deep in the foot. So think of where that fascia is. They're even deeper into the foot. And so these are very important to strengthen. They're easy to get weak because um, these ones will actually help take that pressure off of the fascia. And so the way that you can work on this exercise, there's a nice simple one you can do. And so we call it kind of a short foot exercise. And the idea is we drew a line right on here so you can see the arch. But I want you to think about raising up your toes and think about bringing that foot up as far as you can so you can see this arch increase here. So this part of your foot comes up nice and high. 
Once you get that up there, go ahead and let your toes fall, but keep your arch up there. That's going to be the hard part. And then slowly let that back all the way down to the ground as you round out. So this is where you're most likely resting. We want to work about bringing this arch up so that you can build that muscle on the inside. All right, so I'm bringing my toes up, yep. making that arch nice and high, Good. bringing the toes down, and then I get to the hard part, right, where I have to yep. hold that arch before I let and it relax And slowly down. let it down. That's perfect. Okay. Yep, and this is one that will want you to do a lot. Um, so the more you can do this one, the better, unless it's cramping. If you start to get a cramping, <laughs> give it a break. All right, we don't need any foot cramps going on. But this is one you can do just at work. You can do it while you're sitting at your desk, or you can do it at school, anywhere you are. Yeah, and I usually try and get in about 100 a day. Yeah, a lot is good. A lot is because good. Because if you think about it, if you're trying to learn how to throw a ball with your opposite hand, you couldn't learn how to do that if you only did like 10 a day. You have oh. to be up in the 100. Mm -hmm. So I might break them up, do 10 with my coffee, 10 when I'm waiting for the bus, 10 when I get to work, 10 at lunch, you know, and it adds up pretty quick. Absolutely. All right, so for this next one, I've got a fancy little thing here. So I've got a shoe insert. You can just go down to your um, convenience store and pick up the one that fits best for you. So the idea for this is it's actually a thing you can just slide in your shoe that helps make that arch position. So what this is going to do is it's going to take some of that load off of those tissues so they can get a chance to um, heal a little bit and regenerate so that then you can do what you want to do. Right. Is that the right size for you? No, it looks like it's a little <laughs> big. I've got about two inches off of my big toe. So you do want to find one that's Good. the right size. So when you're looking for them, they want to fit just nicely into your shoe. They should go just right around the front of your toes there is where they'll fit. It should basically be very comfortable. Um, it really doesn't matter what arch type you have on this one. We're just looking for what's the most comfortable. That's what most recent evidence is saying is find comfort. Um, even just the store-bought ones versus those custom orthotics, the evidence says Evidence no says difference. they both basically work exactly the same. Yeah. So. All right, so this is the last one for you. And so this one is going to be a calf stretch, and there's going to be a little nuance to it than kind of more than what you're used to. And so what we're looking for is you just go up to a stair, an object, curb, whatever, and you're going to put your foot up onto there. But the big thing is we want your big toe extended. So just like we were talking about in that morning routine of extending that toe to stretch that fascia as we come along here, that's what we're doing with this stretch. So you get that. That's going to stretch the fascia and start to get your calf stretch. But then you're just going to lean forward on it. So imagine like you're stepping up that stair. That's going to stretch the muscles right along the back here. And these all connect right down to your heel, which is exactly where the fascia connects on that side. So you want to make sure to work on the foot, but as well as the calf. A lot of these symptoms can come straight from the calf. And if that hurts, gives you any sharp pain, do you work through it or you take no nope, sharp, sharp pain back off. Any back. sharp pain back off. If it's just uncomfortable, that's okay. Discomfort's fine. Sharp pain, ease off. Though. Okay, yep, good. I don't want that. Very good. All right, I'd like to say big thanks to having these wonderful people here, Kyle and Elizabeth. And uh, would you want to say hi, goodbye to anybody out there in the world? Well, just thank you for having us on. This is great. Um, we're super excited to have these opportunities and be out here. Um, and, yeah, just hi to all of our class. Um, oh, yeah. It's great <laughs> to see you guys. And I'd like to say thank you to my two dogs, Spruce and Maple, because they're my reason for getting up in the morning. Oh, <laughs> excellent. And once again, keep good care of your feet. Enjoy the day. Bye now.